Hi, Nate. It's great to be here. Um, I'm Judy Gustin. I'm the Curator and Senior Director of Collections at the Rosenbach Museum and Library in Philadelphia. And um, I've been there now almost 24 years. Uh, and I work across the collections, which are pretty vast. But um, some of our American history holdings were probably our founder, Dr. Abraham uh, Simon Wolf Rosenbach, otherwise known as ASW Rosenbach or Dr. Rosenbach or Dr. R. Um, he was a great collector of American history from early on in his days as a dealer in, in rare books and manuscripts. I was looking through one of the earliest letters of Washington that I saw when I first started in this was a letter from 1749, which is in your collection. And it's just, it's so remarkable to me because you're, we're capturing Washington. What is he, 17, 16 at this time, writing to his brother Lawrence? And he's writing, you know, in a sense, the, the content is, is interesting. It gives you a sense into what his life is like. He talks about his horse. Uh, and then he, he talks later about things that are happening in, in, I believe he talks about the public legislature. You might have some more, uh, you might have a better sense of the content, but you really get a sense of what he's doing as a teenager. It's just remarkable to find something that early. And I went looking for other letters. Things from this early in Washington's life coming up for sale are very uncommon. What one does occasionally see are surveys. But to find a letter this early, it's just, you just so rarely see such a thing. Yeah, that's true. Um, this particular letter has long been believed, um, and I believe may still be, the earliest extant sent letter um, by Washington. Um, another place for early materials um, on Washington uh, would be at the Library of Congress. And I look there to see if they had any earlier letters. Uh, they do have a letter book, so that would probably be his retained copies of letters that he sent. And there may be one or two uh, of those retained copies that are earlier. But, you know, these sent letters, of course, you know, have less of an opportunity to uh, survive. So having one this early is, is really quite remarkable. Um, and, you know, as, as you noted, he's about 17 and he's writing to his brother Lawrence there's a lot of really striking content in this letter. Um, first of all, just the relationship between him and Lawrence. Um, they were half-brothers, shared the same father, um, and their father had, uh, not too long before this letter, died. Um, and Lawrence was his older brother, um, a father figure in his life. And the beginning of the conversation in the letter um, is about Lawrence's cough. Um, and he says that he hopes his cough is better. In fact, his cough isn't better. Lawrence is going to die from tuberculosis about three years later. Um, so there's a, a tinge of real sadness um, at the opening of this letter, you know, in retrospect, looking back, um, because you know that he's going to have another um, significant um, change in his life. The other piece that's really cool about this is that um, it's written from Fairy Farm. Um, you don't get that through any um, sort of reference to the address, but he talks about the circumstances at um, his childhood home, Fairy Farm, uh, where his father and his father's second wife, George's mother, um, move um, early on. Uh, Lawrence, as people may know, um, is developing the land around Mount Vernon is the first to live in um, the Mount Vernon property. And um, he uh, uh, sort of um, developed some land um, on Little Hunting Creek, for which we have one of George Washington's um, maps of that space. So it's wonderful to have those connections between him and Lawrence, between him and Mount Vernon. We also have a very large map of, of Mount Vernon in our collection. But this letter really talks about the goings on at Ferry Farm. Um, and, you know, the Ferry Farm is, is quite a good title for the property because it, it both is a farm, a working farm. And there is an, is an issue that George Washington discusses in this letter about ferries going across the, across this body of water. There's a free ferry and one of their neighbors is thinking about, um, constructing, um, a, a landing for a paid ferry. 
which will bring people who take that ferry across the Washington property. So this is the main part of the discussion between the two. So here's George Washington, the year he starts being a surveyor, talking about property issues, which is you know a great thing to capture. And when you're thinking about it, he's he's already surveying at age 17. He's a, he's in business. Um, um, and um, and he is all serious business in this letter, except for the very beginning where he talks about um, his horse being sick and Lawrence being sick. Remarkable survival. I mean, finding something so early. There's something special about finding a letter from somebody famous long before they become famous when they're just kind of launching into their lives. It's it's less common. You find them so you find the, there's no frequency to them. And, you know, there's a lot of other figures that that applies to. 